Oh, Nick, yes. can you pull up Cindy's yes. Instagram? We do have to. Uh, I want Michael's input on this. Mm. Um, so who here is religious? Just curious. I, be I believe in God. Believe in God? I but, consider... Uh, like, are, are you Christian monk, or, or more I just you generally believe? So... Yeah. Wait. Love Cindy, you're Christian? Yeah, I believe in God. I see you're wearing a cross there. I am. Then... Catholic. Catholic, okay. Which I was going to ask you, do you still think that I should wear a cross when I'm making the, my OF content? Well, we had a sort of viral exchange about that. The first thing I wanted to f first bring up, bring up is your Instagram, Nick. If you're able to bring up her, what the hell? Wait, Nick, make it bigger. <laughs> make it bigger. Like, zoom it in just to the top. I don't, I don't need to see the photos. I can see past you. You got it, Nick? It's all good. Cindy Zhang, God first. Now, right below... God first in your Instagram profile is a link to your website, which inevitably re pretty much redirects essentially to your OnlyFans account where you make pornographic content. That's interesting to me. So God first, it's almost blat. I don't know if it's if that meets the definition of blasphemy, but literally below it is a link to your pornographic content. Explain that to me. Make that make sense. There's nothing wrong with the content that I make, and I don't think God is shaming me for anything that I am doing right now, so okay. there's nothing wrong. Yeah, uh, that's not the best answer, but a, a good answer like, would be... what do you want me to say? Well, you might say hypocrisy is the tribute vice pays to virtue, and you know, you believe in God, but you're kind of doing things that maybe are contrary to that, but you're kind of working on it, and so I wouldn't, you know, the better thing to do would be keep the necklace and, you know, give up the OnlyFans stuff, but the fact that you've got that reminder there is probably good, because there's, it's a reminder that we, we worship the things that we spend all of our time and our affection on, right? And so you can come to worship money, and you can come to worship sex, and you come to worship all sorts of false gods, or you can worship the real God. And, and furthermore, you become what you worship. So the, the, <laughs> when you worship something, you just become more like it. And, uh, I agree with and that. you're torn between two gods, right? So you're and and you're torn between two gods. There's only one god, right? Well, they're false gods. There are plenty of false gods, right? We make false gods out of money and sex and vanity and, and ourselves. Anything that you're putting above God, okay? Basically. Yeah. But so like, so you you and you're kind of. It seems to me you're, I'm not putting anything above God. God is first, and I like if, I pray every single day. I'm very blessed with my job. He actually blessed me with everything. I came from nothing, literally. But like, if, you know, if you believe in God and you think that like. Uh, you believe in, like, the Christian God? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. So then, you know, you would say, well... Um, there so there's God, and then there's Satan. What I should have said on the other podcast was that well, Satan is trying to sway you from believing in God. Well, so the, qu the question that I asked was... Uh, so I think it was... Well, my question... I think the first question was, do you think God wants, wants you making porn? To your, and your answer was... I said, okay, the first time I said yes, yeah. but and then, what well, and I wanted to just change my, res like, I think that there's nothing wrong with what I, what I do, and, um, well, the, the yeah. exchange we had, my, my follow-up question was, if God wants you to be a porn star, what do you think Satan wants? Say, say it wants you to sway you from believing in God's purpose. Okay, but your, so, res your response was Satan would want you to not do porn, and God would want you to do porn. Yeah, my response was that. Mm -hmm. But, like, I understand what you're saying. Like, people are can be lusting over porn mm -hmm. and, like, sex yeah. work content. You that's obviously their, don't really that's their, cho that's their choice, but what I'm doing, I'm not harming anybody. But but the the uh, religion that you profess to believe in doesn't just boil down to hey don't harm anybody that's that's just like libertarianism <laughs> you know the religion that you say that you believe in has ten commandments the sixth of which is uh, to uh, not commit adultery and the God that you profess to believe in says that if you look on a woman with lust that is the same as adultery and the religion that you profess to believe in has a, a sexual ethic that, that accompanies it and so you might say well I don't believe in any of that stuff I just believe in a, a version of that, that God that I've fashioned after my own preferences but that gets to the very point we were just talking about which is you're in this struggle between which God you're, you're going to worship and I, I can tell you're struggling with that because you 
you protest too much. You put in your bio, I put God first, right among all of this kind of lusty stuff. And so you're struggling with it. A lot of people struggle with that. I'm not concept. struggling with it. I, I pray every day. I believe you pray every day. And, and I, keep, I still stand day. by the fact that he's blessed, like ever since I got baptized and I start following God's path, he's blessed me with every opportunity I have been given to me. And I'm very grateful. I would not like sit here and like say that he hasn't done anything for me and no, like, God's and, done like i'm not grateful and yeah, anything yeah. like that but, but like with the fact of like um you know like sinning from lusting and watching i get all that but that's their choice at the end of the day not mine um and yeah like i don't think god's oh you're saying it's only it's only a sin to look at the porn not to produce the porn I'm not making porn on my on my OnlyFans, so. I mean, you kind of are, aren't you? Like. Being naked is considered a sin. It's considered well, it's, it is. Po- it's considered yeah. porn. Yeah. Yeah. We all sin though every day. We do. I'm, I'm just saying. Look, I'm I'm not knocking you. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying you you. The fact that you would have that on on this page that has a bunch of porn on you, say, but I put God first. I to me would imply that you are struggling between. What you I'm really not struggling. Uh, so says you. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not struggling. It. I believe in God every day. And I, 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 I bet you do to a large degree. But when those two things come into conflict, when you say, I believe in God, I believe in the Bible, I believe in Christianity, and God and the Bible and Christianity say, hey, don't engage in promiscuity and sexual immorality and, you know, sex outside of marriage and this, that, and the other thing. Uh, you're, you have to face a choice. Well, do, do I pursue that God or the God of do as thou wilt and go have sex and go produce porn or whatever? Those things are going to come into conflict. And so you have to come to a decision. And you can, you can pick one or the other, but that will become your God and you will become more like the God that you worship. Okay, well, I worship a God that like walks on earth with grace and dignity and... Um, I feel nothing wrong with what I'm doing right now. Do you really not? So, so then how do you answer like the sixth commandment? How do I answer six? What is the sixth commandment? Thou shalt not commit adultery and uh, more broadly speaking, uh, s- sexual immorality. If, if, the, if your chosen profession is sexual immorality, how do you reconcile that with the, the, the faith? Okay. But still, like, there's nothing wrong with that. Even people who are... But, but the religion um, says there is something wrong with mm-hmm. that. And, and you say you believe in the religion. So, mm-hmm. so then, you got, then you might say, well, I actually don't believe in the religion. But you, but you just said I you do. do believe in it. I exactly. do believe in so, God. So then how do you reconcile mm-hmm. those, that conflict? There's nothing to reconcile because... The religion no- says don't do this. You say I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. How do you... Re- you have to reconcile that. Or, or you have to say I don't believe in the one. I, I only believe in the other. He's no, not God. I'm, you don't have to like. I, I'm yourself. just saying, like, there's really <laughs> nothing. Take, take like, what applies. Take what applies. Number and one, drop like, whatever doesn't to you. Number yeah. one, if that we makes said, you happy, we, sin, no. we all sin. That's the second number that two, said, which is you know, make a god out of yourself and your own autonomy. Number two, you don't really know me. I'm well, I'm not you judging really you in any me. way. I'm just asking. So, but I'm just, but of the information and, that yeah. he has, based off, you know, you wear a cross while you shoot your. Okay, and you can make that judgment and. I'm not making any it, judgment. You've you made, are. You, I'm not. You've made. You two, are. You've though. made two statements, and they contradict each other, right? You said, "I believe in God. I believe in the Christian religion. I I believe in the Bible and the Ten Commandments and all the rest of it, and I believe that the thing that I'm doing that is explicitly prohibited by my religion is good, and I'm saying you can only believe one of those two things coherently because they contradict one another." And, and I'm, I'm not knocking you. I'm not saying you have to make an account of your life or anything. I actually believe you're most likely already struggling with that because you have both of those things very explicitly. I'm not struggling, Instagram actually. And, it's, and it would be unusual for people in your profession to have that kind of a profession of faith at the top. And I think it's good that you have it. And I think it's good that you wear the cross. And I think it's good that you're praying. But you're going to have to reconcile that conflict eventually. I don't think I have to reconcile anything. Like, Can I say something? I still think that, like, God gave me this opportunity to do what I do, um, and I'm very happy. Wait, God gave you the opportunity to make pornographic content? Adult content. Oh, excuse me, adult content. Um, do, you wear, you wear, uh, do you wear your cross while you're making the pornographic content? 
Like, is it is it in the final product? I wear my. Like, if you you're wear distributing, a jewelry, you wear it everywhere you go. Sure, but if so you're distributing if you're videos and photos, taking a picture, making a video, it's gonna, you know. Yeah. Okay, not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna take it off when I'm like. Right, because okay. then, then you would to, have to acknowledge that there's a problem. I, tell you, I wear a scapular, you know, it's just like a Catholic, Catholic version of that right here. And uh, if I'm gonna commit a sin or something, I, f I feel an impulse to uh, take it off because I think, oh, it's kind of sacrilegious mm -hmm. if I'm like committing. And but then then I think like, well, I probably just shouldn't commit the sin, right? You know, and then I don't need to reconcile it. But it it is that kind of. A conflict. And I also wear it just because I feel like I'm protected. Um, and God always is... It's a symbol of a broader grace from yes, God. Yes, yeah. definitely. And there's only one God, and I, I don't, I'm not like recon not doing any of that, so what you, you were saying. You think that the, the pro prohibitions of sexual immorality in the Bible are just optional? It's not optional. It's, you have to follow his path and his words and not to lie, steal, and all those stuff. Those are not good. Um, I don't like. I don't partake in those acts. Uh, and but you, you do. I'm uh, like. I'm not telling tales out of school. You do partake in sexual immorality. It's your job. So you're saying, okay, the lying is bad. I'm going to follow that one. The stealing is bad. I'm going to follow that one. But ah, the sixth commandment. We're going to skip over that one. And uh, what's the seventh one? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that one. That one too. Is that it? You're saying some of it's op optional and some of it's mandatory, or, or you're saying that you have a conflict and you're just trying to work it out, which is probably actually what's going on. I'm not, but I enjoy what I do, so I really don't like. I really do not think uh, there's anything wrong with my job. So if the if the Bible says it is that there is something wrong, then you don't believe the Bible. Not everything in the Bible is true. Everything in the Bible Nickelodeon is true. Nickelodeon donated $200. Not everything is. You yeah. say you pray all the time, but you forget the important part, listening. Maybe God brought you here to realize the mistakes you're making and change. Instead, you get defensive and don't listen. Hey, Nickelodeon, thank you for the uh, TTS. Thank you for yeah. the TTS. Well, you, uh, if you guys want to continue on, I mean, I think you're actually making a very interesting point. Um, I mean, Cindy, did you want to respond? He, Michael, Michael was saying that, well, if the Bible says X, but you, it sounds like you don't believe in, I don't want to, if you want yeah, to restate yeah, you, your point. Actually, sure, yeah. you, you, you're saying, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have a conflict here. Amendment? I don't think anything that I'm doing is wrong, but the Bible says that the thing you're doing is wrong. And so again, I'm not, not thumping on the Bible here. I'm just trying to make sense of the two things you've said that, are, that contradict one another. Okay. Me partaking in adult content is contradicting what the Bible says. About in the sexual Sixth Amendment. immorality. Yeah. Sexual immorality. Okay. Uh, or, you know, the uh, woman at the well. Or, you know, an, right. any number of books of the Old Testament. Right. So, I, sh I just feel like even, like, people who are a prostitute, who, like, whatever, like, in sexual content, they're, they're really not doing anything wrong. Like, at the end of the day, they're still... But Christianity still says they are. And Christianity says you're welcome to come in, and you are afforded the grace of God, and you can have redemption. And what, but Christianity also says go forth and sin no more. So is her choice to then reject the religion? Uh, well, I wouldn't recommend that. Okay. I would recommend uh, keeping your faith. Do you and, think and that God it. loves everyone? Yes. Okay, so... But God loves you too much to keep you as you are, <laughs> is, is the reality of it. And so I'm not suggesting you abandon your faith at all. I'm suggesting you abandon the things that you're doing that contradict your professed faith. Because otherwise, you won't actually have your faith. You'll, you'll, have, you'll have deluded yourself into telling yourself you believe in this religion when you consciously reject important parts of it. Well, there's a lot of important parts of believing in the And you should believe all in the religion. Of, yeah. Are you Christian or Catholic? Well, you know, believe it or not, uh, Catholics are Christian. Some would call us the uh, okay, but like, original just, and perhaps <laughs> exclusive. Uh, I was Christians. just yes. asking for clarification. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, you're right. I'm a little sassy. I get a little defensive. Right. On, but I'm not even I, religious, but I was just getting clarification. Wait, can we at least, <laughs> Cindy, what, what do you think about this proposal, right? Okay. Could you at least, I'm not going to even ask you to remove the link or the God first. At least put like two spaces <laughs> in between. Like maybe put like, I'm 
in Los Angeles. You know, like put like a no, here's I'll here's like a like location that. pin. I'm in LA. Only and then God like, can judge her. Okay. And I, then maybe like another line, which is like I don't know. Um, I'm. Uh, I barely know. I like that it's why, there. Why are you Again, asking me? To I like do that, that it's there. For I'm, my I'm social big media into it. I, I like, like it. Oh, I like okay. that it's there, and I like that you wear the cross because it's a reminder. And you said, well, if I'm doing a thing that's bad, maybe I'd be tempted to take the cross off, but I'm not going to take it off. I like wearing it. It's a symbol of God's grace, and that's all true. But then it, the symbol should should act on you. Maybe two lines is all I'm asking. Yeah. Two lines. <laughs> Located in L Los well, Angeles. Can we look at your trees. Instagram? What does your Instagram look like? It's, not up to date. it's really not that interesting. Lo you know, okay. Maybe, maybe maybe I mean we could we could pull it up if you want. We can. It's uh, that's fine. And maybe like you're an Aquarius. I don't know why you're put judging your, like my, your my Instagram bio is just like. Oh look at that. Uh, okay. Uh, founder of Big Labia Matter. Mm. Founder of Know.org. Live in Santa Barbara. And then a link to my uh, whatever .com. Look at that pick. Yeah, beard. Beard. that one. The beard. You don't like the beard one? No, I like the it. other one. Yeah, it's like Which one? Okay, right. Brian Bin Atlas or something. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Beard. I never will grow a beard that long again, but it was a oh. period of, I was going through an uh, exploratory You were considering becoming an Eastern Orthodox priest. <laughs> Pretty much, exactly. Yeah.